Good day. I am Mani, third year student from Department of Biology, Faculty of Science. I have chosen STEM teaching tool for my uh, competition and this STEM teaching tool, the name of this STEM teaching tool is 3D model of gastrointestinal system. Purpose of building this 3D model is to demonstrate the feasibility and benefits of developing innovative teaching tools for physiology education based on re 3D reconstructions of actual human body systems. Undoubtedly, this 3D model will enable vivid mental representation of the shapes and organization of different anatomical structures that compose the GI system. As, far as this presentation is part of the evolution of my animal physiology course, here I would like to, I would like to highlight on a few learning outcomes. This presentation will encompass four learning outcomes pertaining to gastrointestinal system aligned to the topic of my syllabus. The first LO would be explain the source of HCl, hydrochloric acid, in stomach. LO2, explain the mechanical and chemical digestion in stomach. LO3, explain the mechanical and chemical digestion in small intestine. LO4, explain the mechanical and chemical digestion in large intestine. Now, let me bring you into the depth of this 3D model. So here is how our consumed food and water travels. This is where we consume and it travels from the throat to the esophagus to the uh, stomach, small intestine and finally to the large intestine where it will be. The first one is the esophagus. It is a muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Here is where peristaltic action takes place. Food travels in the form of bolus to the stomach. Number two is the stomach. Stomach, is, in terms of mechanical digestion, peristaltic contractions take place where the bolus will be churned and mixed with digestive juices that, that will be secreted from the linings of the stomach. In terms of chemical digestion, enzymatic action takes place where proteins will be digested into peptides by enzyme pepsin. HCl, hydrochloric acid, will be secreted by parietal, parietal cells of the gastric glands in the stomach. It is a complex process and energetically expensive process. Now number three is pancreas. Pancreas secretes pancreatic enzymes and secretion of buffers to increase the pH of the fluid secreted from the stomach. Number four is the large intestine. Large intestine is the site where water and salt from undigested materials will be absorbed and it will be removed from our systems in the form of stool. Here, three key processes that compose the mechanical digestion of the large intestine takes place. The first one is um, host, uh, the first one is hostage contractions. Hostage contractions is a slow moving process, slow moving of food residue process, which usually takes place at the transverse and descending colon. Number two is peristaltic uh, movement. Peristaltic movement in the large intestine takes place at a much lower rate than at, uh, than at the stomach. Number three is mass movement. Mass movement is where strong waves actually take place at the um, at the transverse part of the colon. It, yeah. Number five, this is the small intestine. It is the major site of absorption and digestion. In terms of mechanical digestion, small, uh, sorry, weak peristalsis takes place and segmentation too takes place where mixing of chyme with intestinal juices um, happens. In terms of chemical digestion, intestinal juices secreted by the intestine, by the small intestine, um, completes the digestion process. Now, for number six is the liver. Liver synthesizes bile that helps to digest fat and some vitamins. Number seven is the appendix. Sorry, number eight is the appendix. The function of appendix is pretty unknown. One theory states that uh, appendix is, uh, it acts as a storehouse for good bacteria to reboot our digestive system after diarrheal illness. Other theories do believe that um, appendix is just a useless remnant from the evolutionary past which is, uh, which is classified as a similar, similarly classified as a vestigial structure. Now number nine. Number nine is the anus. It is the last part of our digestive system. Anus consists of um, muscles that line our pelvis and two other important muscles which is the internal anal spin sphincter and external anal sphincter. The pelvis muscle gives control over the pelvis the pelvis floor muscle stops this stops the stool from coming out when it's not supposed to. Meanwhile the an uh, anal spin sphincter muscles give us control over the stool. Now that I have provided um, an overview and explanation on each digestive organs that compose the GI system, here I have attached some pop questions related to each of the digestive organs. So, scene number three is chosen. Number three is the pancreas. Number three is the pancreas. So the question for pancreas is, Inflammation of pancreatic tissue is caused by enzymes that work prematurely in the pancreas before being released into the duodenum. Name the disease. Okay, so this is the question for number three. So there are nine questions for each digestive organ that I have constructed here. Let me just take a quick, uh, let me just quickly read out all the questions. So number one for uh, esophagus, who's the reason now? Number one for esophagus, name the esophageal structure that prevents the bad flow of acid from the stomach. Number two for stomach, what is the source of HCl in stomach? Number three, I have read it out just now, and number four. Number four for large intestine, describe the three key movements 
of the of digestion that takes place in the large intestine. Number five, for small intestine, name the features that enhance the digestive function of the small intestine. And number six, name the process below whereby the liver plays a key role. So A converts glucose into glycogen. B prevents uh, sorry removal of nitrogen containing part of amino acids to form urea. This is for liver. Number seven, it is for gallbladder. So the gallbladder does a crucial job in stopping and concentrate in sorry in storing and concentrating bile for uh, for patients with gallstone the removal of gallbladder yet though the the gallbladder is removed for patients uh, for patients with gall, gallbladder cancer yet breakdown of fats take place effectively how is this possible number eight it's for number eight is uh, for the appendix so with the digestive process uh, will the digestive process be disrupted if the appendix is removed provide the answer yes or no and provide the reason and the last one number nine question for anus name the muscles that control the movement of stool in the anus so these are the nine questions that i have prepared for each of the digestive organs if you're keen and curious to know the answers for all these questions do email me to this email id and answers will be sent right to you to your email so this is all i have for today it, uh, my, my brief presentation on gastrointestinal system i hope you have enjoyed the presentation as much as i have enjoyed sharing with all of you thank you so much have a good day stay safe and take care